Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of Shopping Cart Project and the last video we have discussed all about the details of the order and uh, here we have some uh, button controls for the admin uh, where uh, admin can change the, some details also in which is included in the order header like uh, the tracking number, like uh, carry details and uh, many more uh, details can admin uh, admin can change it okay uh, in this video tutorial I am going to show you uh, the validate first of all validate empty functions which is applied on the button where your admin can change the process like the status in process when the ship the order before uh, shipping the order button first of all validate the function mm, that is uh, both uh, carrier and the tracking details Field by the admin so here we have a client side validations you can say that the get element by ID order header underscore tracking number that order header underscore tracking number is actually generated in the generated by the browser that is the ID property of your order header and after that uh, uh, in the order header uh, uh, here the client side validations and the suite alert applied on the order header as well as the order carrier values if both are empty then uh, suite alert uh, will fire okay so here we have a admin controller for the order and uh, uh, we will uh, we uh, we did already discussed about uh, some uh, action methods but uh, today we will discuss about order details uh, and also we have a order details Mm, like uh, order VM and uh, just uh, that is uncommented so here we have a uh, action uh, post action method for the order detail so just uncomment that code and also uh, in process and uh, some button uh, action methods So uh, here we have some uh, uncommented uh, code. So just uh, uncommented first of all. And here we have a authorized attribute with the roles like admin and the employee. So only admin and employee can change these details, which is included uh, in the action method that is order header, like name, phone, address, city, states uh, can change by the admin. Okay. So this this detail is actually to the order header. So and uh, you can see that uh, if uh, conditions here uh, in the code contain vm dot order header dot carrier id is not equals to null i mean to say that is not equals to null if it is not null then have some values so just pass that values from the vm to the order header uh, that is retrieved from the database okay uh, and similarly these details are related to the name address and phone number related to the uh, employee also uh, phone state and the postal codes okay so here we have some details and admin can only change and uh, also the employee also can change it and here we have a unit you know, of work dot order header dot update uh, that order header information and after that uh, uh, here we have a uh, unit of work dot save temp data success info updated return redirect to action order details and order okay so everything is clear and uh, whole thing are uh, very simple okay now here we have ordered header dot tracking number equals to vm dot order header dot tracking number so, uh, so similarly order update and redirect to action. with the vm dot order header dot id and uh, the next method is uh, that method is actually occurs when we click on the update method in the order summary 
okay so uh, here is the post action method of the order and here we have a authorized attribute with the roles uh, website role dot admin and website role dot employee so the next method is in process in process i mean to say that order is approved then going for the in process uh, uh, post method and after that shipped and after that uh, okay everything is clear and uh, also we have to refund and the next method is the pay now for the user also if it is order uh, if it is order is pending so uh, in process is actually order vm vm you know the work dot order header dot update status vm dot order header dot id vm uh, okay so uh, in the in process mode uh, when the order is approved i mean to say that payment is cleared so after that you can change the order header uh, information like the uh, order header id first of all in the parameter and the second parameter is order status that is the status in process and under process you can say so in process in the order vm vm so by using the vm you can get the id property of the order header and also uh, order header uh, have some order details and the order status so uh, here we have a id and the order status that is the status in process so order process uh, order is in process your or you can say that under process order detail order and vm dot order header dot id and here is the next uh, thing to add that is authorize attribute roles equals to website role dot role of admin and the next is website role dot role of employee and here we have a shift action method that is uh, calling from the order vm after in process mode if it is in process is complete then you can go for the shift method and only admin and employee can change it the order status so first of all get the order header by using their order id so here we have a order id is in the vm after that we can change the carry detail as well as the tracking number and also the order status and the date of shipping okay so first of all get the order header and after that can change the carrier and the tracking number and the order status that is order shipped and after initialize uh, after in shipped order i mean to say that initialize the date that is date time dot now and after that you know the work dot change the order header update information by their order header temp data with the success order status update shipped now the next thing is the redirect to action order details the order and the next uh, thing is the cancel order so if uh, if you want to cancel the order first of all change check the payment status by using their order id if uh, the order header dot payment status is status is approved then refund initialization initiate so refund create options and the reason is the requested by the customer and the payment intent is the uh, actually existing in the order header that is payment intent id after that create a refund service and uh, refund service is created by the uh, stripe method by using the stripe method for in the refund create options and after that can, can change the order header uh, update status that is order header id and status in the order header and also the payment status if order header dot payment status is, is it is not in approved mode then update the status that is status cancelled okay so
so by using this uh, unit of bug dot order header dot update status so in the update status we have a uh, change the order status as well as the payment status and in the payment status also initialize the order status by using their status refund and uh, order status is that is uh, cancelled okay if it is payment is not approved then status is cancelled i mean to say that order status is cancelled and uh, and payment status is also cancelled because payment is not done uh, okay and after that uh, we can change the information from the database also now after that you can mm, run your project and uh, see the outputs what will be happened when the order status will be changed and also the status uh, changed you can see the outputs it will run uh, after a uh, few seconds click first of all login into the system that is admin orders and click to edit and cancel order also check the stripe account when the refund is initiated but you can see that only the approved account uh, account uh, amount will be received okay and there is no method to uh, received any pending status information so only the approved only cancelled amount is not uh, initiated in the uh, stripe account but only the approved amount will be initiated directly into the stripe account and you can check it thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and shopping cart projects thank you very much